everyone and welcome back to sandland look at how big this city is now compared to what it was before anyways we have quests right so do we have anything else in the forest land i don't think we do but in the sandland we have multiple let's start with this one in the capital What are you doing here? The Sandland and Forestland armies are holding a conference. I'm waiting for General Rosetta to be done with her audience with the king. Rosetta's here? That's right. She should be back any minute now. Well, if it isn't Anne and crew. How is your audience with the king? It went smoothly. Apologies for the wait, General Are. Nonsense. I needed the break. I'll take you to the hall. So what's this conference all about, anyway? It's a chance for both sides to socialize and exchange techniques and ideas, essentially. Boring. They're not gonna see which one of them is stronger? Our countries aren't at war. We don't need an exhibition battle. Exactly. Besides, our previous battle settled that question. In that contest between tank corps, each led by their army's general, Forestland came away with a decisive victory. <laughs> You talk big for someone who barely beat a wounded unit. So you're saying you would have won if your forces hadn't been hurt? That's exactly what I'm saying. I propose a change to the conference's agenda. Let's have a mock tank battle. I accept your proposal. Look what you did, Bielz! Now what do we do? <laughs> now we're talking! I'll join Ari's unit! Fine with me. We'll take you on under the same conditions as last time. In that case... We'll hold the battle in the same region of the Southern Desert. Understood. I have preparations to attend to. Excuse me. All right. Let me know when you're ready, Beelzebub. I'm ready. Ready? You bet. All right, let's head out. Let's demonstrate the might of the Sandland Army. I got a full upgrade tank, so why not? But we're free to go ham, yeah? Yes. That's fine. Act as a commando unit. Just roll across. I didn't equip it, did I? Oh, that. Okay. Destroying the enemy tanks. You got it, General. Tank platoon has been destroyed. Good work. Keep pressing the attack. <laughs> Tanks are blown up all over the place. It's like a real war. Isn't everyone getting carried away? This is supposed to be a mock battle. It's hard not to get fired up when you're piloting a tank. Keep it up, everyone. Situation. We're in good shape. Things can turn on a dime at any moment. 
The only way for us to ensure Sandland's victory is to take out General Rosetta's tank. Keep destroying those tanks to draw her out into open combat. Roger that. That's a level up. Let's get okay. This goes straight, but we can get something from here at least. Probably need like two more levels. Yeah, two more levels to do this. General, you should focus on commanding our troops. Don't worry, we'll take Rosetta out ourselves. Even Anne is getting fired up. I suppose I have no choice. Let's do this, Prince. Yeah! That's the spirit, see? game to you? You'll have to get serious to defeat us. Ha! I'll blow you all away again! You fool! The Forest Land Army will prevail! No worries there. We'll be fine. Ha! Withdraw at once! This may be a mock battle, but I don't want to risk your safety. No way! If it's safety you're worried about, then you leave. <laughs> Bold words. Don't say I didn't warn you! Started. It's a grenade! Maybe 
shooting it will work. Stand strong! Got it. Game over. I can't believe we lost again. But this isn't the end. We'll polish our skills and issue another challenge. I wouldn't have it any other way. We'll be waiting. Let me know when the next battle is. I want to do this again. <laughs> we'll do. Here we go. You know, I've heard that Gedgy dragons have been sighted in this region. Could you not have told us that sooner? Prince, we're leaving. Now! Gedis may be quite territorial, but that means they tend to stick to their turf. So as long as we keep an eye out for their markings and stay away, we should be fine. Hey! Who are you guys? Stay away from our home, you shady outsiders! Home? You're not living in this cave, are you? What's it to you? You three kids are living in a cave all by yourselves? We've got Leanne! But you went hunting days ago and hasn't come back. Is this Leanne a grown-up? Yeah, he's our dad. Kind of. But that's not what he thinks. He's probably ditched us. That's not true! He said we're family! Yeah, and he ditched us. Just like families do. Just like our real folks. But... Leanne's different! He'd never do anything like that. So why is he not back yet? Cut it out, both of you. He's coming back. So he went hunting? Do you know where? He was going somewhere to the northeast. To the northeast. We'll go check it out. What? Why? Do you need a reason to help out when someone's in trouble? You sound like Leanne. Come on, Sar, let's trust them. We only just met them, though. Hey! The old man's already made up his mind to help you. Then, I hope you find Leanne. They won't find him. What do you mean? My nose can easily sniff out a human from miles off. Yeah, sure. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, kid. You'll eat those words when I come back with him. <laughs> Alright, let's what? find him. Let's find him. They said north. That's not north. Here we go. I see someone. Are you Leanne? That's me. How do you know my name? Three kids in a cave asked us to find you. <sighs> I see. Wait a second. What's the problem? I know you. You're Liqueur, aren't you? What? You know me? What are you saying? It's me. Don't you remember? Um, no. Prince, something's kicking up dust around here. Whoa, what's that? The Queen Scorpion. Looks like my patience has paid off. Sorry, I've got questions, but they've got to wait. Right, um, no, wrong. I'm the one with questions, Buster. We'll take care of the Scorpion. You go wait in that cave. Go wait while you fight? What? Questions later. 
Go hide now. Uh, fine. Let's kill the scorpion guy. Anywhere. Maybe you can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. It's one plastic model. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. Wow, we've scored quite the haul. <laughs> uh, thanks to your help. Now, questions. Hold on. Let's get back to the kids first. Uh, yeah, you're right. The kids come first. Leanne! You really found him. Sorry. I guess I really worried you, huh? No. We knew you'd come back. Glad to hear that. Um... Sorry for what I said earlier. And thanks. So, to finally get this out of the way, you're liqueur, right? That's what I'd like to know, lady. You're saying I'm this liqueur guy? You have got to be joking. But you aren't, are you? He was hurt when we found him. Couldn't remember a thing. You have amnesia? Seems so. Only thing I remember is my name. You clearly don't remember that either. Your name's Liqueur. He's being serious. When we found him, the first thing we did was ask him his name. And he said, Lee Ann. That really is all he could remember. But that's not his name. He's Liqueur. Maybe you got the wrong guy, Ann. That's definitely him. We were in the Resistance together. He was supposed to come to Sandland with me, but the Forestland army found us just before we crossed over the border. He took a bullet for me, told me to keep running, so I left him behind. I thought I'd never see you again, Liqueur. I was in the Resistance, and I protected you. Hey! What is it, Prince? Maybe. When these kids asked your name, you tried to say Liqueur. But then Anne's name popped into your head halfway through. Ah, Lee and Anne. Lee Anne. Seems like your concern for Anne ran pretty deep. That's just like him. Always putting others first. If you lost it, old man, guess you'd think your name was Rarier. Oh, wait, uh, Shearier. Huh, I suppose. Go back to Forestland, Liqueur. The Resistance is waiting for you, as is your wife. Are you gonna leave us? No way. No. I'm staying right here. But why? I don't remember this liqueur I used to be. All I know is that I now have a family here. They took me in when I was injured and had no memory. But... The man's made up his mind. Come on, Anne. But what about... Can you... tell my former buddies and wife that I died? Is that really what you want? Okay, that's fine. I guess that's finished. Mystery monster. Bow's too tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. 
<laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Prince, would you please let me have the next turn at the wheel? Rock, paper, scissors me for it. You're on. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Yay! I win! Ah, I'll get you next time. Sick of driving through this boring desert. Thief. No any jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so. Okay, through here we can get there. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. I was here last time, but I didn't think you can get up there from here. Yeah. There, there's definitely something there. I guess. No invisible walls. I beg your game. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. Okay. You never know when something you picked up might come in handy. It's such a waste to let bot parts just rust away, too. Got it. I'll get. It took some real damage back there. So this is the entrance. Okay. It's fine. So 
tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crap. Agriculture, hunting, trade. It's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. You've got a bit of an evil streak. We can use the... We can repair it. Alright. This should reveal this area for me. Plus, we also have the fast travel point here. Okay. Now for some hot intel on the area. Right. Yes. Easy. How oh, it's hard to find. So that means the entrance. I don't even know where the entrance could be. Could be one of these caves in the back. I don't know. Who knew that there were such incredible ruins near the falls? This gate's humongous! Look at how the pillars are stacked up! It really is an insect man. Is it trying to say something? It sounds like it's suffering. Hey, do you understand me? <laughs> I don't think it appreciates our attempted empathy. Fine. If it's violence it wants, that's what it'll get. Here we go. Sort of fun. How'd you like that? Had enough already? That's enough, Irio. You guys, too. Have you calmed down a bit, Irio? Thank goodness. I'm sorry all of you had to go through that. You... you're a peachy, aren't you? I am. My name is Nitok, and this here insect man is called Irio. Could you tell us how you two came to be on such friendly terms? We came to investigate whether he posed a danger. Understood. Allow me to explain. The two of us have been living nearby. After the Peachy Village was destroyed, I wandered all over Sandland and came across Irio during my travels. It must have been over 10 years since we met by now. What? So there were others who survived the explosion. Others? There are other Peachy living at the Legendary Spring. Huh. There are others alive? I'd thought that I was all alone. We'll take you to them once we're done here. But for now, tell us about this insect man. Uh, right. Irio is an insect man prototype created by the Royal Army. It wasn't sufficiently vicious for the army's liking, so they attempted to dispose of it. But thanks to its incredible vitality, it managed to cling on to life. Why live together? It's clearly still a major threat. It saved me when I was attacked by a queen scorpion. Though to be fair, I think it was a millimeter from turning on me afterward. But in the end, Irio restrained itself from attacking me. That's when I realized that its aggressive tendencies may not be a natural feature of its biology, but rather something forcibly implanted into it. The poor thing was being made to fight against its will. That certainly is a plausible theory. So, it's been my goal to create a medicine that suppresses its urges. I was lonely, and I wanted to repay Irio for saving me. Did you manage to make the medicine? I'm afraid not. There is one ingredient I can't seem to find. What is it? The nectar of a soldier bee. They don't appear to live nearby. Leave it to me. Are you certain? Irio did attack you after all. I know what it's like to want to repay a debt. Though in my case, I suppose it's more like atoning for my sins. Prince. You don't need to ask every time. 
If you go, I go. Thank you. Please bring me that last ingredient then. We should have honey, hopefully. Did you gather? Yes, there we go. Thank you so much. I'll start making the medicine right away. How do you feel, Ilio? It doesn't look like it's suffering anymore. Thank the stars. It looks like we succeeded. Right on. Should we head to the legendary spring now? Oh, uh, actually, about that, I've decided not to go. If I bring Aria with me, I will surely frighten the others. And I do not wish to inflict further fear upon my people. I understand. So what will you do now? Irio and I will live a quiet life somewhere out there. But now that it doesn't fight, it can't protect you anymore. That's a good point. I'm no good at fighting. Then you should go to Spino. To a human settlement? But I have Irio with me. I think they'd be okay with it. Right, old man? I agree. I'll explain the situation to Mayor Tor. Th thank you so much. Doesn't that sound great, Irio? <coughs> thank you for everything you've done for me, everyone. I'll see you again in Spina. We even have an insect man. Okay, there's ruins, but we don't need to actually do them, so that's fine. Oh. This quest continues. Cool. Let's go do it. I was kind of confused that they, we just left him there. But yeah. The surrounding area is one massive quicksand region. Come on, Ut. You need to be reasonable. No! Leanna's gonna keep living with us and that's that! What about his real family? Is keeping Leanne from them really best for him? That's for Leanne to decide! Exactly. That's why we're gonna go talk to him ourselves. If we tell him he can go back to Forest Land, he'll probably go. Now that's a fight. I don't know what's going on, but let's all calm down. He's dead! But that's enough. I already told you that I'm not going anywhere. You mean it? Yeah. Are you sure? What about your real family? Shouldn't you at least go see them if you're not going back? And say what? I don't remember you, but I decided to drop by. And that'd only make things worse. I'm just not going back, okay? Hey. Could you all talk some sense into Leanne? He should go back to Forest Land. At least once. Why's that? Don't you want to be Leanne's family? I think family is about being able to say what's really on your mind. And knowing that they'll support you. No matter what. If Leanne's sacrificing what he really wants for our sake, to me that's even worse than him leaving. Are you saying Leanne is just pretending to like it here? I don't know. Maybe Leanne himself doesn't know. That's why he should see his family and face his feelings. If he still wants to be with us after that, I'll have no complaints. Okay. I'll try talking to him. Okay. Did Sara send you? He said you should go to Forest Land and face your feelings. Pretty brave of him to say that, despite feeling otherwise. He's such a difficult person. Just like liqueur. So what are you gonna do? Why aren't you going back? I think you should try going back to Forest Land too. I know your current family is important to you, but there are people in Forest Land who care about liqueur as well. But even if I went back, I wouldn't remember anything. I'd rather not go back if I just end up causing confusion. So you'd go back if your memory returned? I'd consider it. But memories don't just come back easy as that. Maybe you need some kind of stimulus to jog your memory. Something like an item or a story from your past. 
then surely the easiest way would be to talk to his wife. Perhaps, but we don't know where she is. All Lecure told us was that he was married. Maybe his friends from the Resistance could jog his memory. Yeah, Longo might work. Oh, Longo is the leader of the Resistance, by the way. If I meet him, I'll get my memory back? Maybe. But rather than you make a wasted trip, we'll go to him first. Isn't it easier for you to try and remind him, man? Hmm. I can try. Want to hear a story from the past, Liqueur? Sure. And then after the millionth time I snuck out without telling anyone, you grounded me for a week. I was so scared. I'd never seen you so angry. <laughs> I sound like I was such a worry ward. So? Has that brought back any memories? Uh, sorry. Nothing. Oh. Guess we'll ask Longo after all, then. I'd appreciate that. No worries. Alright, I guess we're going to Longo. What's the matter, Princess? Please tell me about Liqueur. This is sudden. You've avoided talking about him until now. Because it was painful to think of him. But he's alive. Liqueur's alive, Longo. What? Tell me everything. Hmm, I see. It's wonderful that he's alive, but he's lost his memory. Do you have any items or stories that might spark something in him? Hmm, he was an honest man. You were very fond of him. You would have spent much more time with him than I did. If your stories of the past won't work, I don't know what will. Ah, well that was pointless. Wait, there was a photo he used to look at every now and then. The one of his wife? He showed it to me once. Where is the photo now? He would always keep it on him, so I'd imagine he still has it. But then wouldn't he have remembered as soon as he saw it? Not if he's forgotten he even has it. Okay, so we get him to look at the photo then. Yeah, let's give it a try. All right, so are we going back again? I still wonder where we will collect those plastic bottles. We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of- Have either of you seen Ut? I can't find him anywhere. No, I don't know. He's been keeping his distance from me lately. I just saw him earlier. He was sneaking off to the north. What? I explicitly forbade him from exploring on his own. Hey, Liqueur, do you have a photo? Not right now. I have to find Ut. He's lost. We'll help you search. Thanks. Kula says he saw him heading north. Understood. Let me check if the plastic bottle inside reset. No. Not good. Are you okay?
attack it up close, Prince. The main thing is that you're safe. You and I will talk later. Okay. Here. This is yours. Wait. That's my photo. The photo of your wife! Oh. She's my wife? But why did you have this? I... Well, I just started looking at it a lot after you spoke to these guys. I thought that if you kept seeing it, you'd remember your past. And then... <laughs> You'd leave us! So you came all this way to hide it? I can't believe you'd be so stupid! I'm sorry! It's just... I... Silly boy, I... I told you I'm not going anywhere. We're family. Yeah... Hey, is there even any point getting back his memory? I don't know anymore, but your wife might still be waiting for you. If she is... This must be so hard for her. The problem is, he wouldn't know where to find her, though. Could I see that photo for a moment, Liqueur? This is... Erasmo Village. You know it? I wasn't sure, just going off my memories. But now I'm certain. Shall we go and look for her? Yeah. Would you mind if we held on to the photo for a little while? Sure, I don't mind. Thanks. All right, let's look for his wife. The forest land, somewhere. There. Oh, that's her. Liqueur's wife. She does look like the woman in the picture. Huh. Someone's approaching her. Let's hide and keep watch. Hey, Ale. I finished working on your shed. <laughs> Ale? Oh, sorry, Catella. I was caught up in my thoughts. Dreaming of him again? Yeah. Uh, I, I mean... Don't worry about it. Anyway, the shed's all fixed up. Uh, thank you. You're always helping me out. No problem. I like doing it anyway. But I wouldn't mind a reward every once in a while. Of course, if it's something I can do. It's something only you can do for me. Dream of me tonight. Oh. <laughs> There's that beautiful smile. Anyway, you know where to find me if you need anything else. Thank you, Kitella. I think the man's gone now. All right, time to tell her about Leanne. Wait, Prince. I'm not sure if we should tell her. Why not? She seems to have a thing for that Kitella guy. And his feelings were obvious. So? So it'd make things awkward for them if we brought up Leanne. So you're saying we shouldn't tell her? But she said she still dreams about Liqueur, and it looked kind of one-sided if you ask me. We should tell her. Okay, you guys are confusing me now. Do we tell her or not? <sighs> The truth doesn't care about your feelings. Do I have to repeat that every single time? Prince, you go speak to her and make the decision for us. Yeah. Please, Bielz. Uh, why me? Hey, do you know Leanne? Um, no, sorry. Bielz, it's Liqueur, not Leanne. Oh, right. Do you know Liqueur? Oh, that's my husband's name. Why do you ask? Do you know something about him? Tell her. My husband's in Sandland? What's he doing there? Wait, you mean he's alive? Yes, but there's a catch. What catch? So that's basically what happened. Oh, he lost his memory. That explains why he never came home. We were wondering if there was anything that might jog his memory, but if you'd rather he stayed as he is, we'll drop the subject. How could I possibly want him to stay like that? Wait here, 
I'll look for stuff that might jog his memory. I'm back. Please give this box to my husband. It has an accessory we made together and love letters from him inside. Thanks. Leave it with us, and we'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. Please do. And we're going back. Here we go. Whoop. The surrounding area is one massive quicksand region. Huh? Wait, you mean sand? What? You... You met my wife? Why would you do that? Sorry. I couldn't help but feel for her, too. Your wife, Ale. She is still waiting for you. She asked us to pass on this box to you, but it's up to you whether you open it or not. Of course I'm going to open it, but... I want the kids to be here. Please give me some time. Sorry for the wait. How was it? I remembered everything. Now that it's all come back to me, I... I can't believe I forgot her. Or you, Anne. Like her. You're back. I can finally thank you. Thank you for protecting me from the Forestland army. I got my father and Forestland back thanks to you. That's great. I suppose I can't call you Anne anymore, huh? Don't be silly. I'll always be Anne, your resistance comrade. <laughs> That's a relief. It would have felt strange to call you princess after all we've been through. Yeah. Now that you've got your memory back, what do you plan to do? I'm going back to Forestland. With Sar, Kula, and Ut, of course. I bet Ael will be angry about me showing up with kids, though. She'll have a whole ten years worth of anger for you, probably. Yeah, I'm prepared for that. Thanks for everything. I'm sure we will. All the best. Alright, that's that. I do want to do the... ...bottles. Right, we need to collect ten of them. Uh, I've looked up a map, so these are not random spawns, they are actually set spawns. So, looking for all of these will be quite difficult. Alright, there's some, there's one here. I believe. Um, like there. And I do want to collect them, so... Here we go. Let's just go about that quickly. I was lucky that I found even the one bottle, you know? But yeah, like, they are in such a random positions, you would you know, never man, find them. What would you do if you ran into a tough enemy? Let's see. Well, I'd start by observing them carefully. Knowing what they can do and what their weaknesses are will help you fight effectively. Serve them, huh? I'll try that next time. Alright, next one. Should be... Albo. That should be here, right? Is this Talbo? Yeah. And it should be on someone's roof. 
Possibly this one. Oh, maybe the one in the back. I see it. Arrow Village Ruins. And it should be in a well. Next one is here. Near a fire, got it. Next one should be near the race. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade. Through the uh, next to the other race, which one? The top one. This one. Okay. This race as well. Near the water jocks somewhere. There. This one should be like there. I've got a question. Why do humans eat some plants but not others? Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Of course not, silly. I see. So there's a ba battle arena here. Since when is this giant? Interesting. It sure is lively around here. They having a party or something? Not a party. This is the battle arena. I thought it was just a rumor. Okay. Battle arena? It's a place to test your strength in combat, be it fighting in a bot or with just your fists. That sounds like a total blast! Where do I sign up? I don't even know if it's worth it, but... about rank matches all right so there's like wins okay if we have time we'll definitely do this 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 seems interesting or there might be a separate episode about just the arena
We'll see. Uh, we need one more, and I think I haven't explored this other race. This one, right? There should be a broken bot on the ground somewhere. Slightly south of here. There we go. All right, that's enough. Let's bring them to Gite. Okay. Let's do this demon village. Got you a gift for my father. Is this the forbidden tome? The very same. Good job. How can I repay you? By not ticking my dad off. It'll come back to bite me if you make him upset. Beelzebub. Bring the two humans before me. F father I'm shitting! What's wrong? Father said to bring you to him. Uh, oh. Well, we finally have our audience. Alright. Yes, let's go. I mean, father, I brought these two. Yes? Allow us to express our utmost gratitude for granting us an audience today. I am General Rosetta of the Forestland Army. Please to... Don't waste my time with formalities. Get to the point. Yes. Firstly, we hope you will accept this as a token of our good intent. Oh, the Forbidden Tome. I see. So you know of it? Of course. I wrote it. Oh. Oh! How very ignorant of me. Do not apologize. It will be amusing to reread after so long. Now, what are you really here for? As an official envoy of Forestland, I sincerely apologize for our many past offenses against you. And though I know I have no right to do so, I would ask a favor of you as well. Would you please consider establishing amicable relations with the Kingdom of Forestland? Enough! Please, direct your anger at me! I'm the one who attacked Demon Village, not my daughter. Why would I, Lucifer, deign to form an alliance with the likes of humans? I have no time to listen to such drivel. If that's all you had to say, then get out. B but uh, your magic. Shut up! We're going. Hey, if my father says get out, you get out right away. You trying to give me a heart attack? But we came here today to beg forgiveness, and we utterly failed. Look, if my father was legit mad at you, then Forestland would be a smoking crater. W what do you mean? I think that means he's already forgiven you. Well, I don't know if he's actually forgiven you, but if he's not actively mad at you, whatever you do, don't make him. Very well, then. I must say, you demons are awfully hard to read. <laughs> You'll get used to it eventually. You're right. We have all the time we need to get to know one another. Father, you stood up for me back there. Thank you for that. Just like you stood up for so many others. You were a great help as well, Beelzebub. Allow me to thank you. It's not much, but please accept this as a reward. Neat, thanks. You're forgiving her just like that? Shut up. I'm an open-minded guy. Ooh, Grandpa would be fuming if he heard that. D don't tattle on me, okay? All right, there's one more quest here. Just gotta find it. Um, should be here. Above, okay. Whoop. Hello. No, you found me. Oh, I will never 
to live this down. That's a lousy hiding place. You're not scaring anyone there. You have the wrong idea. Though as scaring people is what us ghosts do, I understand why you might think that. However, I was not lying in wait, but rather playing a game of hide and seek. One which, much to my chagrin, I have now lost. I thought I hadn't seen you in a while. That's what you were up to? But of course, Prince. You are the seeker after all. Huh? 187 years and three months ago, you challenged Mag and me to a game of hide and seek. You said you would perform the role of seeker, and whomever you found first was the loser. Don't tell me you have forgotten. The whole game was your idea. Hmm? Ah, you completely forgot, didn't you? Prince. My bad. It slipped my mind. For 200 years? Demons have a very different sense of time. Have you found Mag yet? No. Of course you haven't. You haven't been looking. Oh, so I really have lost then. And with a field of play confined to only the demon village, I have no excuse for not finding the better spot. You should probably let Mag know the game's over. Yeah, I'll try and find Mag. Oh my god, do we really have to look for her? Okay. She could be anywhere, but... Alright. So she's probably gonna be also this ghost. There's a lot of these. Let's look if one of them is like hidden. Okay, she can still be outside, technically, but I'm guessing that's not going to be the case. That's the first guy, right? I don't even know if I'm looking for a ghost with an umbrella. I'm guessing I do, but... Huh. 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 
Here we go. sure you'd never find me here but you're a pro prince i gave you a run for your money though eh it took you 187 years y yeah <laughs> so did you find io who won you did whoa i did Woohoo! so what's the next challenge you don't want to take a break of course not there's nothing more fun than a good competition let's go get io and decide what we should play Hey! What do you want to play for our next game? A new game? Hmm, seems to me we have played every game under the sun during these past 1,000 years, though. Anything's fine, but I'm busy. Why don't just the two of you play together? What? Too busy? Hey, are you up to something even more fun? Yeah, lots! Like filling Spino with all sorts of people. Wait, humans? So Spino's a human village? So you're just going in and out of human villages now, Prince? Wow, that sounds fun. I want to go. Why don't you? Really? Oh, boy! Ayo, come too! Ooh, a human village. The people there may well know games we have never heard of. You're right. Let's make a game out of it. First one to learn a new game, win. Now that sounds fun. I gladly accept. All right, off to speed up. All right, that's the next group. Let's do that quest over here. Here we go. I think this might be the last quest, right, that we have. Unless there's more. Let me just have a tiny look right now. Nope. Okay. And... Nope. Okay, cool. So then we might be able to do the arena. It'll be fine. Driving through this boring desert. See, know any jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. Uh, damn it! Where the heck did it go? Shut up already. You've got some nerve yelling when you lost it. You shut up! I'm not the one who lost the compass. You know. I gave it to you along with the map, and you went and lost them both. Them's the facts. Okay, fine. I lost the map. But the compass wasn't me! Oh, and watch your mouth when you talk to me. I'm the leader. You? The leader? Don't make me laugh. I'm clearly more cut out to be the leader. <laughs> a cowardly twerp like you? <laughs> You're a real comedian. What did you call me? Would you two drop it already? Stop fighting and help me look. Our journey's going to end here at this rate. Hell nah! We're not going back to the village empty-handed. Then hurry up and remember where you dropped the compass. If you think we're finding that town without it, keep dreaming. I said it wasn't me! They sure have a lot of energy for being hopelessly lost. I swear. The worse the dilemma, the worse humans act. What should we do, old man? I don't think we can just leave them. Hey, you three. We can help you if you want. R really? Uh, in that case... Find the compass this pompous jackass lost! You little... Now you're blaming others for your own screw-ups? Seriously, that's enough. Cut it out already. I'm getting annoyed just listening to this. Let's find it and move on. That's your cue, thief. What? Why do I have to look for it? Only someone with your skills can find a compass in the desert. Good grief. 
fine. Something smells like treasure. Find dropped items with a thief radar. Okay. Uh, characters, thief radar. Where's the treasure? Wait, what's that over there? Alright, I can just run there. Hey, isn't this their compass? Let's give it to Tida. Hey, is this your compass? Whoa! <laughs> you guys actually found it! That's quite a feat. You demons sure are impressive. What a relief. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Be seeing ya. And give the bickering a rest, okay? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Since you're here, think you could help us find the map too? You kidding me? Any idea where you might have dropped it? Ramel had it up until we got near Demon Village. Right. That's when Tida demanded to see it, so I handed it over. If the wind hadn't picked up right then, we could have avoided this. If you'd held it more tightly, it wouldn't have blown away. Shut up! Stop bringing up the past already! Would you cut it out? I can't hear myself think. So we just need to find that map, yeah? Let's get this over with. It's somewhere around here. Okay. Where's the treasure? Wait, what's that over there? Is this the map? Let's show it to Tida and find out. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check- Is this the map that blew away? Yeah, that's the one! Yep, there's the mark I made. This is the one, all right. Woo! Now our journey can get back on track! Hand over the compass and map. No way you're holding them. Huh? Only the leader gets to hold on to these. And who died and made you leader? No one voted for you either. Enough, you two. Shouldn't you be thanking the demon and his friends? Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. I I was just about to. Thank, Thank you. you. They actually listened. Hmm. I think it's clear who the real leader is here. By the way, is that Spino you've got marked on your map? Yeah, it is. I heard rumors that it's a bustling town. What? You guys were headed for Spino? So we went around finding your crap for nothing? What do you mean? We know Spino well. We've been recruiting new residents for them. Really? No way! <laughs> This has got to be fate. We were right to look for Spino. You are going in completely the wrong direction, though. Well, in any case, it's got to be a sign. Could you put in a good word for the three of us to move there? No need. Mayor Tor would welcome you anyway. That's good to know. In that case, we'll just show up. All right! Let's get a move on, you lot! When are you going to stop acting like you're the leader? What's your problem now? <sighs> Try not to fight once we're in Spino, guys. All right, let's go back to Spino. Dream sick man. Finally made it to Spino. <laughs> Time to turn a new leaf and strike it red. Nice. All right, and let's deliver this one quest we have. With the bottles. Here you go. Now we can take over the country, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Sounds about right. 
Hugh will figure out the rest. Thank you, Beelzebub. I promise to make Sandland into a better country. Wait, I thought you were gonna use the bottles to take over. Not take over, exactly. More like improve it. What? That's not what I signed up for! He did tell you exactly what he was going to do with them. So you're saying I helped do something... good? Seems so. Blech. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Pretty evil of you to fool a fiend! <laughs> Maybe you rubbed off on me a bit. <sighs> Let's just call this a win for Team Evil. Okay. Well, what now? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you General Shiva? My name's Rao. Who are you? I'm Papri, a journalist. I used to work at the news office. General, I, I mean, Rao. Please allow me to interview you. You're from the news office. Sorry, but I don't do interviews. Please! People all over the world want to know the truth behind your success. Success? What are you talking about? You're the hero who brought down Flying Fortress Garum and saved the world! Don't be ridiculous. If anyone's a hero, it's not me, it's... <coughs> um, I have no comment on the matter. You can refer to the Royal Army's official reports for details. Huh. You can't trust what the Army says. Isn't it your job to inform the public of their lies, then? Yes, but... Then get back to your job. I have nothing more to say to you. Please reconsider! You're testing my patience. Uh... Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Nothing there. No quest here either. I was hoping for some kind of closure of the quest, but that didn't happen. Let's just travel here, see if anything changes on the map. Nope. Travel here, let's see if anything changes. Let me zoom in on every location just in case there's a other quest hidden. Like overlapping, you know. Okay, nothing. Let's go back to Spino then. Oh, alright. There we go. Excuse me, I... You again. I thought I already turned down your interview. I know, but as a journalist with news standing right next to me, I can't give up that easily. I want to hear the story from you, Beelzebub! Me? Yes! My journalist's intuition tells me you are the real hero! You are the savior of Sandland! I'd love to cover your story. Save your... Save your what? Savior? It means you're the good guy who saved the world. Oh, gross! Don't insult me! You're the last person I want to talk to! What? Why? Someone didn't do their homework before approaching us. <laughs> There you go, messing up again. Ugh, but coming here was the homework. I wasn't expecting to meet them. Ugh, Pima, you're more experienced at this. You take over. If you're always gonna rely on others when things get tough, you'll never be able to stand on your own. Besides, we decided already. You report on sand land, and I cover forest land. We're in charge of our own areas. But I'm not even a reporter. I was an entertainment. And in a backstage role at that. Just a researcher, talking to entertainers, artists, and obsessive collectors to get material others had scoped out. Hey, what kinds of things do those fanatics of yours collect? I've met people who collect books, works of art, outdated bots, uh, figures. Oh, and video games too. That guy was weird. Had loads of games, but no console to play them on. Whoa! Awesome! Can you take me to meet him? I'll bring my own console! Oh, I don't know where to find him. He's always on the move. But, but, can't you use your intuition thingy to find them? I don't think so. Besides, I have work to do. <laughs> You're as lame as I thought. 
I wanted to play some new game. You don't have to be so mean about it. When I left the news office, it was a big decision for me. I was determined to get the uncensored truth out to people. Hmm. That's an admirable goal. But how do you intend to broadcast your news? All the radio towers in the country are under military control. I'm planning to make my own small radio tower and air my program from there. Wouldn't a small radio tower only transmit over a small area, though? That's why I want to build it in a well-populated town. That's actually why we came out here. To scout locations. If that's what you have in mind, Spino might work. Yeah. It'd be great if we could set up a local news station here. Hmm. We could help you build a radio tower in Spino. Prince, you want to help these people? Radio towers send and receive tons of information, right? So doesn't that make them great places to hear about all sorts of things? Ah, oh, I see. You're just thinking about what you can get out of it, huh? Well, it'd make it easier for me to acquire bot-related info, so I don't mind helping out. I doubt Mayor Tor would object if it'd help grow the town. I couldn't wish for anything more. I'm all for it. Could I report on political stuff too? You can do what you want. Uh, okay. Then please help us. Then it's decided. I don't know how to build a tower, though. The quantity of materials we'll need might pose a problem, too. True. First, we'd need a blueprint to figure all that out. Where can we get one of those? I might have a lead. I met a guy while I was out researching. He collected all kinds of blueprints for large structures. He might just have it, then. Where is he? We met in the royal capital, but he lives in Hidden Cliff Village. All right, then we'll go get one. All right, let's go. Uh, there. Oh yeah, this village. Never actually done anything in here. Are you the blueprint collector? Yes, but how did you know that? I've hardly told anyone about it. Papri told me. Oh, you know little Papri. How is she doing? She's determined to build a radio tower and start a news station. Oh, working towards her dreams, is she? Oh, hold on. Take these. Are these radio tower blueprints? Yup. I was meant to gift them to her when she left the news office. There seem to be a few layouts here. They are different types. You're welcome to whichever you want. Generally, the larger the tower, the wider the range it covers. Then it's easy. Give us the biggest one. That would be this one. It's all yours. Thanks. Say hi to Papri for me. Tell her I'm rooting for her. Gotcha. All right, back to Spino. Uh. Wrong button. There we go. We got the blueprint. Thank you. The collector sends his regards. He says he's rooting for you too. Aw, how nice of him. I really must write him a thank you letter. Okay, let's get straight to work. Can I see the blueprints? Here, do you know a lot about construction? Well, I used to work at a small radio station in Forestland. Since it was such a small team, I did a bit of everything. Now, let's see. Oh, what? Well, this is no good. What's the problem? It doesn't say how to make the antenna. The most important part. Oh, it's just the blueprint for the structure. A radio tower without a working radio is just a tower. Hmm. We'll have to find another blueprint for the antenna then. Or get an antenna from somewhere else. But where? We could steal one from one of the army's radio towers. Right, thief? I'm not sneaking into another army base if I can help it. I'd also rather not stir up trouble with the Royal Army right now. So what are we gonna do then? Um, I can help. Do you know where to find one? Not exactly, but if I check my old note, I might be able to find someone who knows about antennas. <laughs> That's rich. You can find them, but not the game guy. Sounds promising. We'll leave the antenna to you then. As for the tower, we're gonna need a bunch of materials. Like how many? I'll write it down for you. One sec. About this much. Wow. It's going to take a long time to gather all of this. Ran and I will chip in with the materials, too. Papri, you come through your notes and manage the materials. All right. 
Leave it to me. Ram, let's go. Okay. I hope we have enough. I don't want to be gathering garbage. Ah, uh, super hard pentator and a glass. Okay. Have a look. I need only three of them. Do you make glass or do I have to buy it somewhere? Not sure if it's Thank enough you. glass. It is enough glass, nice. Well, there we go. Oh, um, do you have all the materials for the radio tower? Yep, gotcha. Thank you. Ah, you guys must have a knack for this sort of thing. Good, that's all the materials. Now for the antenna. Oh, um, yes. I might have a lead. A junker I interviewed told me something that might be useful. Apparently, when the Forestland Army closed their old facilities, they dumped all their waste in the big junkyard. The junkers had a field day with all the good parts up for grab. Then there's probably nothing useful left. I don't know. I can't see them picking up broken antennas. Well, it's our only lead at the moment. So we might as well try. It'll be like searching for a needle in a haystack, though. Oh, uh, try the junkyard radio tower. According to my notes, that's where the bulk of it was dumped. You're quite the researcher. Thank you. Let's head over there. Ren and I will gather information, too. Just in case you don't find it. I'll come with you, then. No. I need you to butter up the mayor for permission for the tower. M me By myself? <sighs> I don't think I can. You'll be fine. To show him how passionate you are. Okay, I'll put my heart and soul into it. You got this, Papri. Let's go. All my resources gone. Okay, forest land. In here, huh? Okay. She said around the junkyard radio tower, didn't she? We might as well start looking for an antenna in this general area then. Here we go. It's more like they've been hidden than abandoned. Well, so it goes. I just noticed my health. Fuck off. I don't want to risk it again, let's just do it like this. Fucked up again, so let's just fly again with the robot. Whoop. 
If I knew the hitboxes suck, I wouldn't have done it like that, but okay. I think we've checked the whole area at this point. Three should be enough, right? I guess. Let's take him to Patrick. So, um, did you find the antenna? Yeah, three of them. Wow, three? That should make for a great radio tower. How'd it go, Papri? Did you manage to convince me or Tor? Yeah, he approved it before I even finished what I had to say. Not only that, he's even getting locals to help build it. That would be great, but we can't afford to pay that many people. There's no need to pay. People just come out to help here. <laughs> Let's get started then. Radio and Spino. I'm one step closer to my dream. No, oh, I can't slack off now. Ah, uh, looks like a new quest popped up. Right. Look how green everything is now. That's one thing this game does extremely well. You actually see the uh, world progressing. Oh, it's Nikkei. Wow, you seem chipper. Something up? Nothing special. Just felt like humming. Catchy melody. Who wrote it? Uh, beats me. I just heard it somewhere. It's been stuck in my head ever since. Mind a repeat performance? You like it too, Rao? I don't know, though. Coming for an audience? Please. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Too bad we don't know the source. That's Terrier's song. Terrier? Your late wife? Yes. The melody's a bit off, but it's hers. I never expected Rao to hold the key to that mystery. Do you remember the original song, then? Yes. I'd love to hear it. Not precisely. Not after such a long time. Oh, sorry. It must be difficult for you to listen to. It was before. Somehow, though, it seems different now. There's hurt, yes. But it also brings back fond memories. I'm glad that her song has even reached the younger generation. But it's not the actual song, right? I want to hear the real one. Yes. I'd love to hear the full song, too. I wonder if there's a recording out there. Who knows? It's been decades. There might be a diehard fan or a collector. It's not impossible. Hey, why don't we ask those people who knew the game collector? The ones who said they were jar openers or whatever? Journalists, Prince. Ron? Yes, Papa, jar openers. Yeah, sure, them. Let's go ask. Okay. Terrier's song? Haven't heard it. But my beat's Forest Land. Maybe Ron or Popri would know something. A recording of Terrier's song? I don't know. Oh, wait! I think Papri might have listened to it in the news office.
Hey, Papri, you ever hear a tune called Terrier's Song? Oh, that's my favorite! It was playing practically nonstop at the news office. So there's a recording of it at your office? Yeah, my old colleague Meller was a huge fan. She's who owned it. If we ask, do you think she might lend us the recording? Maybe. Tell her I sent you. All right, off to the Capitol. Hey, if Meller lends you that recording, let me hear it too. Okay, Capitol it is. Hi, are you Miss Meller? We heard from Papri that you have a recording of Terrier's song. We came by to ask if you'd be willing to lend it to us. Papri? Oh, you mean the Papri who worked in this office? Yes, that Papri. Well, I'd like to do something for a friend of Papri, but I'm afraid I don't have the recording anymore. Um, so much happened here after Zeyu's fall, you know. We had to put up a lot for auction to stay afloat. Including that recording. I was so desperate to get it back that I actually bid on it myself. Ultimately got outbid by someone named Mudar from Terragino, though. Mudar in Terragino? We've got a clue. Guess we've got to follow it. Terragino. Here we go. Hey, you bought that recording of Terrier's song, right? Watch this all of a sudden. It would it kill you to give me a little context? Or at least say hello first. We'd like to ask about a recording you bought at auction. If possible, we're wondering if we could take it off your hands. Oh, you want to discuss business. <laughs> Beautiful. I love talking zenny. Well, unfortunately, I've already sold the recording. To who? Idola, the receptionist at the battle arena. Oh. A special event. Okay. I got an excellent price for it, too. Of course, it helps if your asking price is astronomical. <laughs> Smart, eh? This guy's ticking me off. I was worried we don't have enough time for a battle arena. This violence would be quite the breach of etiquette. Good thing fiends don't follow human etiquette. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Help! Someone restrain this child! Maybe just one punch wouldn't be undeserved? It most certainly would be! Now get out of my sight! Alright, battle arena then. Let's go. Uh, it was Norfo here, right? Yes, there. Okay, I wonder if, it, if it's just one battle we need or some certain rank. everyone! Today, we're holding a rank tournament! Come on in. Come again, okay? Oh, it's a special ranked match, okay. Come. This one, right? Yes. Okay, level 30. Let's go with our tank. Battle. Cool. Come on. Arena coins. Okay. Come again, okay? Come here. And here we can trade for really good weapons, I see. 
don't need a lot of these if you want. But yeah, we don't need that, honestly. It's just for if you want to go 100%, which we don't need to do. Okay. I just want to do all store missions. I don't really care about grinding in arena battles repeatedly. That's not my style. to get a recording of Terrier's song. Oh, really? That's awesome. Come on, we got to listen to it. Okay, everyone gather around. Is that okay, Rao? Of course. Then here we go. Ah, yes, it's her. It's beautiful. What? Wow, it seems... I've got tears in my eyes. Me too. You're not crying, old man. My tears all dried up long ago. The song now gonna start playing here on repeat. I mean, that would make sense. So let me just travel out of the place. See if there's anything on the map. Nope. Forest land. Travel there. If there's anything on the map. Nope. We're we going back to Spino. And there's a new quest. Nice. Okay. Not even using my zip lines, whatever. Borders? Then maybe we should introduce it to Force Land. I'd love to, but we'd need to boost the radio signal to do that from here. What's up, you two? Our office has decided to run a feature on Sexy Terrier, and we'd like all of Sandland to hear it. Maybe even Force Land too. It'd be a real waste to keep such a gorgeous song all to ourselves. If it reached Forest Land, Dad and everyone could listen too. That's a wonderful idea. But isn't it too far? We could do it. We'd need a booster station, though. Also, more power. And where could we find a signal booster? Power. Perhaps if we upgraded the water wheel. We could make it more efficient. Or just bigger, I guess. Bigger! Should have known. Let's discuss this with Lutemis. Maybe she could find a solution. As for rounding up materials, you're the expert, right, Biel? I know you guys can take care of the water wheel issue. As for the booster, the Royal Capital might have some info. The Capital? The Royal Army uses radio towers to coordinate troop movements. I'll go talk to them and see if we can arrange something. Then I'll ask everyone in Spino for help. I can handle communication and managing the materials from here. If we all work together, we can bring Terrier Song to the world! Yeah, this does sound like the final mission. Okay, well, let's do this. I just hope I have enough resources for this. Why, hello there! What brings you here today? The water wheel! We need to make it big! What a coincidence! I was just thinking the same thing. Our water wheel's a tad underwhelming to put Spino on the map. So behold! A blueprint for the world's largest water wheel! Glad we're on the same page, but we have some slightly more practical considerations in mind. What do you need then? 
you want to bring Terrier's song to the world. Wonderful! We'll need to boost the wheel's power output, not just its size. No worries. For building with wood, I am the expert after all. And my designs are as functional as they are fashionable. So my blueprint will get you a wheel that's bigger and more power. Then let's do it! Yes! You know the drill. Bring me the materials on this list. Gather all the materials and I'll start construction pronto. Got it! I hope I have enough. Probably don't though. That's the issue. Oh god, okay. Um, Premium cable, premium steel. Let's see if we can buy some. Deluxe, oh, 10 premium steel, Deluxe well honey oil. Okay, cannot de get Deluxe honey oil here. Thank you for coming. Uh, super hard gachi alloy, Terra no rubber. You might be able to do these in here. Have a I'm gonna do it. Thank you. One more, one more rubber. Three gachi alloys. honey oil we need royal bee honey okay we can get that thank you so we just need to get oh three more three more premium steel okay I can get and get a royal bee honey. No. I need platinum or okay, so get some platinum. Get more pro uh, premium steel. Uh and get some bees. Thank you. Alright, that's fine. Uh forest land. The bees were near the water area. Where was that? It was near this place, I think. Wait, not this one, the other one. Um... This one, no? No, that's the one in the air. No. Where the fuck do I find bees? I think this is where I was looking for. isn't all plants there's lots of rocky cliffs too the environment's not as hostile to life as sandlands but still dangerous in its own right 
Wouldn't have it any other way. Makes the tons more exciting. Let me look for the resources. Alright, we got our resources. Just gotta craft them. And yeah, we can finally build that. Took only like 10 minutes, so it's not too bad. get back that is sorry we're late we hit a home run with the army though only way it could have gone better is if we'd actually found a booster they wouldn't divulge the intel i take it oh we got intel all right see the royal army strengthens its own radio signals via a booster originally taken from the merrick the reason we're late is because we went to see if we could find another at least saw battleship but you didn't have any luck there no we totally found one that's degraded down into one big hunk of junk, that is. Which isn't of any help to us. All that's left is to try Rionda battleship. In Forest Land? I suppose it'd be easier for us to go. Well, if you do find a booster, I have just the spot. Install it on the radio tower atop Forest Mountain. Understood. We'll work on the water wheel. The townspeople are going to help. Got it. Then we'll head for the Rionda battleship. All right, let's do that quickly. Forest land. Okay. We have to go through here. That's fine. Oh yeah, that's the big one with the uh, with the lots of interact interconnected passages. Hopefully we can find it quickly. to take the long way around this place is too convoluted yes let's proceed carefully so we don't lose our bearings don't you get lost i'm not gonna fight anything because there's no point here hey hey you guy huh what's wrong man you sound a step away from death water please water oh you're in awful shape bios come on give him water if you want to give him water do it yourself jeez fine give me the water <laughs> ah oh that's so good I'm alive again! What were you doing here that brought you to such a state? Scavenging, of course. Found something really rare, too. Couldn't bring back your haul, I take it? Yeah. 
I ran out of food and water on my search. I started fading in and out of consciousness and dropped my haul somewhere. I gave up on it and came back here. But by then, I was in no state to even move. What was the rare thing you found? You guys aren't gonna have any idea what I'm talking about, but sure. It's a signal booster. You're joking. We've been looking all over for one. Huh? Well, you're welcome to it. Thanks for saving my bacon. Hang on. I'll draw you a map. All right, nice. At least we know where it is. It's around here. Head for the floor. third floor. That'll get you dropped down to the lower floor from there. You should stumble into it. Gotcha. Almost fell. Probably the rainwater collected in the battleship's upper decks slowly leaking out. Water's everywhere here. The polar opposite of Sandland. Yeah. So the Junker dropped it somewhere around here? Hey! Is this the signal booster? Hmm. Still seems functional. Great! Shall we head for the radio tower on Forest Mountain? The junkers come here in boats to fish stuff out of the water. I doubt they're able to haul much weight in such tiny boats. Yet they're making a living by. It. Must be high quality junk here. High quality junk? I'm listening. Seriously? Even in such poor conditions, it's still functional. How does it manage that trick? It could be modular. 
Each part designed to function independently. Peachy technology is never anything short of ingenious. All that advanced tech just blown up in war. What a waste. I'd use it for something that was actually fun. Now we need to get on top of this. Um, probably this is going to be entrance or this way. still can't get used to just how stunning this country is. I was just as amazed when I entered Sandland. They're so different. Meh, looks too nice for me. Makes me feel sick. Seriously? Uh, and it dropped it in the lake. Aw, that poor booster. Of course, alligator ate it. Uh oh. Hurry, let's grab it and go. We can repair it. Just Yeah, we'll need to repair it anyway, so let's do that. Okay, now for some hope. So we cannot do a Fight checkpoint here, that's fine. It from the bot prince. Signal booster. Looks great for something that's been dropped several floors and been submerged in water for hours. What do you mean by hours? Probably fine. It's a small mercy. Let's put it on that radio tower. Somewhere it won't get stolen. Well, where should we attach the signal booster? Give it to me. I'll install it. Alrighty, there. Now the signal should reach all of Forest Land. Shall we head back to Spino? Yep, let's do that. What did I do? Icon list? No. Um, okay, let's just do this, that. Here we go. Hey, good to see you. How 
let things go with the signal booster. It's all set up perfectly. Oh, thank you. As you can see, the water wheel's done too. Very impressive. It's bigger than I imagined. The whole town came together to help. Now we'll finally be able to broadcast Terrier's song. After being unheard for so long, it's hard to believe my wife's music will reach so many. Now to switch it on. Rao, would you do the honors? You mean me? Your search for the legendary spring brought us all together. This and so much else has only happened because of what you did. It's only fair. Yeah. After all, we wouldn't be here without you. But... Just do it. Hmm. All right. But do it with me, BL. We never would have made it this far without your help. Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> Getting shy, Prince? No, as if! Fine, I'll press the stupid button. Are you ready? Three, two, one. And now that's a proper ending. If it's the final mission, that is. I mean, it should be, right? Because we finished everything else. Arena. Did it really work? I'm sure it did. Right now, it feels like everyone in the world has come together as one. I hope so. Alright, I think we're done. But I still want to double check, you know, how it is. Okay. Nothing there. Let's go here. Nothing there. And back to Spino. Nothing there. Alrighty, this is a perfect spot to end it. Thank you all for watching. I want to see if I can jump on the water wheel. What do you think? Can I? Probably not. But yeah, we can try. Yeah, I definitely can't. There's an invisible wall as well. Eh, unfortunate. But hey, look at our city. Look at this amazing game. This has honestly been a masterpiece for me. Like 10 out of 10. Yakuza quality. So yeah, thank you all for watching. This was Sandland. And I'll be seeing you guys next time with a different game this time. Not sure what that one will be it, but yes. Take care. Bye bye.